comedian Roseanne Barr singing, or as some people described it, shrieking the national anthem. She gave baseball fans in San Diego an earful before last night's game between the Padres and the Cincinnati Reds. Although Barr is used to being in front of a microphone, performing for thousands of people, appears the audience hasn't quite gotten used to her singing. I wonder why. Well, speaking of baseball, many expected it to happen last night, but unfortunately it didn't. Ageless wonder. Z. All right, topping people in the news this noon, it appears the biggest error in last night's doubleheader between the San Diego Padres and the Cincinnati Reds was asking Roseanne Barr to sing the national anthem. Her rendition was not well received by the Padres fans. The home crowd booed the TV star as she sang in a shrill, offbeat way. Roseanne reacted to the cat calls by spitting on the ground you just saw and making an obscene gesture we did not show you. Uh, Tom Warner, the managing partner of the Padres, who is also executive producer of The Roseanne Show, mm -hmm. said Barr did the best she could and meant no disrespect to the anthem. No Excuses Jeans commercials showing Marla Maples dumping two supermarket tabloids in a trash can have been banned by two networks. Marla Maples on... Get out the barbecue. Ken Phillips standing by with a look at tonight and tomorrow. Every day, in a little way, it's getting warmer and a little more humid. Be in the 70s later tonight with the clear skies. Tomorrow, 73, for the most part, sunshine. However, there will be some clouds building up, indicating it right here as temperatures drop down in the 70s tomorrow night. Sally. All right, thanks, Ken. Actress and comedian Roseanne Barr got anything but rave reviews for her performance of the national anthem last night in San Diego. Miss Barr was asked to sing before the San Diego Padres game, but before the song was over, she was being booed by many fans in the stadium. Roseanne shrugged off the reaction and even ended the song by grabbing her crotch and spitting. Several of the Padres said they thought her performance was a complete disgrace. 100 years ago, the United States Polo Club was formed. Now there's over 260 teams in this country, including one right here in Baltimore. Keith Mills with more on the Maryland Polo Club, who play this game just for fun. Most of us are amateurs. Most of us have other careers. And uh, you don't, it's not uh, a live or die situation. We all want to uh, have fun out there and be aggressive, but be able to return next week. Every Sunday in Timonium, Richard Fratkin and friends mount their horses for a game of polo. Chuckers, mallets, ride-offs, all part of this game, a game that members of the Maryland Polo Club play with great passion. I liked riding and I like team sports and it combines aspects of both. Cindy Halley is the polo coach at the Garrison Forest School. On many game days, she keeps this fast-paced game moving as the umpire. Now, this is not a game for the week. In fact, it's a very physical game. It's played at a very... 